Today I will give an overview of the subcontract process for the production module in Dynamics AX 2012. I have already created a production order for item 1101 and a quantity of 2. Let's now take a look at the bomb where we have one line here, installation service, that we will outsource to a vendor. As we can see in the general tab, this line will be outsourced to a vendor, to this vendor account. We also link this bomb line to an operation on the routing, operation 15. If we now look at the route and look at the detail for operation 15, we can see that this operation is defined as a vendor type operation. Let's close the route and estimate the production order. The production order is now estimated and let's open up the bomb again and go to the reference tab and we can see that the system created a subcontract purchase order for the installation services. Let's now start the production by selecting the order and click on start. We will now click OK to start the production. The order is now started. Let's check the bomb again and go to the quantity tab. We can see that all items were issued except the installation services. We are still waiting for the purchase order to be received. Let's also check the route. The first operation has been updated. However, our subcontract operation has yet to be updated. We will now receive the purchase order by going to the subcontracted work form and launch the purchase order. We will now receive the PO by clicking on Receive and Product Receipt. I enter a product receipt number and click OK. We are receiving a message. The production order was, was also updated. Let's now open the production order. Let's check the bomb again and go to quantity. We can see that, inst that the installation services has been released. Let's now go check the route and go to feedback. We can see that the vendor operation was also updated. And this concludes this session.